It's a new year, a new season, and we are underway. Really dominating fashion here today is going to win. Two, three, four for the final time. Win number one of the season, only just barely. He is going to win here at the Nazareth Speedway. Wins the Emerson Electric 100K. Going to be Igor Moretto's going to eke it out. Cup Series champion is Shane Lake in the number 15. Welcome to the NOF SRL. No chase, no playoffs, no points reset, but nonetheless, the final 10 are here. 10 races to go starting tonight before we crown a champion here in 2021 of the NOFSRL Cabela's Cup Series. With race 23 tonight, we arrive here at the Armored Digital Super Speedway for this the Western Digital 432 laps here under the lights here and it's going to be a good one for sure. Trey Smith comes into this race with a massive 35 point lead over Darian Arnsdorf. Brad Stover is in third there, 51 behind, 63 behind is Sam Osgin. 68 behind is last week's winner Sebastian Kukulon, 75 behind Will Paris, 76 behind is Benny Watson, 77 behind is Roy Wilton, 78 behind is the 74 of Ben Crouch, and rounding out the top 10th, the Independence 500 winner from a few weeks ago at Pocono, Brad Crawford. It's going to be a good one here at Armory Digital to kick off the final 10 race dash to the championship. Let's go down trackside. We'll get you your starting lineup so we can get this show on the road. And the engines will come to life here at Armory Digital Super Speedway. 42 going to roll off for here from the pit road. It's Sam and Osgin on the front row there in the pole position in car 83 alongside the Daytona winner from a few weeks ago. It's Ethan Lewis for Team Velocistar in the 51. In row number two, we find Kanan Miller there in the 95. He is starting alongside the 26 of Riley Snare, an uncharted driver that transferred in from the 11 uncharted qualifying shootout in row number th I believe I just wanted to make sure we have everybody rolling off from the pit road here in row number three we find the 38th car of Sophia Fragniti for Arthur Xavier's rock car racing her teammate jo Joey Hightower has a win this season Sophia Fragniti does not but is higher than her teammate in the standings 20th as opposed to 22nd after an awesome showing at Gateway last weekend, that 38 team has clearly found some speed. Can they capitalize with a win here at Armory Digital on the outside of her? One-time points winner this season, but two-time special event winner this season, Charlie Davenport. His only points-paying win of his career came at Rockingham Speedway this season in the Pop Secret 400, but he also won the... Mac Tools Duel number two at Daytona, as well as the All Star Race at Atlanta. And with that particular experience in the Mac Tools Duel, could it propel him to another victory here in the Cabela's Cup Series? In row number four, we find sixth place points man Will Parrish there in the zero for Ruby Motorsports. Has not won yet this season. Could he get it done here? He's starting alongside last week's winner at Gateway. Sebastian Kukulon and rounding out the top 10 we find Andrew Miller in the 35 starting alongside Nashville winner earlier this season Stephen Cologne and Sam at Osgin a two-time winner this season three-time CCS winner overall is gonna lead the field to the green flag here and start the Western Digital 400 it is green 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 folks it's time to go green flag racing Let's get this show on the road.
Season 1 champion of the series, Kanan Biller, season 2 champion of the series, rather, Kanan Biller, leads lap number 1 of the Western Digital 400, but doesn't stay in the lead for long as Sofia Fragniti makes a power move to the inside, as does Andrew Miller, and they'll be side by side, coming out of turn number 2, down the back straightaway, 4 wide behind their high tower. Kansas winner earlier this season, Will Parrish, Charlie Davenport, Riley Snare going at it there for position. Pole sitter Sam and Osgin slipping back on the outside on the borderline of five wide back there where he is. But they are calming it down for now. Roy Rebelton on the inside of Andrew Miller for the race lead up front. Coming to lap number three here in the Western Digital 400 at Armory Digital. Andrew Miller still leading this thing. Looking for some help. Potentially from Rebelton. Rebelton goes up to the top. Parrish down to the inside in the zero. And they are side by side for second as Miller starts to pull away again. Andrew Williams taking a look to the inside there in that 27. Closing in behind on the double, on the 07 rather, of Brad Crawford. Independence 500 winner earlier this season. His only win so far in the Cabela's Cup Series. Could he pick up another one tonight here at Armory Digital? He's going to have a little harder time now. He just got left up in the sucker hole there as Andrew Williams goes to the inside. Keegan Thompson, dual number one winner at Daytona earlier this season. Here he comes to the inside with a big push from Dan Park. But on the outside of the track, it is Andrew Miller leading this thing. Will Parrish behind him in second. Those two have stretched away from the rest of this cluster. That is just snaking and sliding back and forth, trying to fight for position. And we'll hope they, st they keep it clean here because this is very, very risky racing for it being this early here on a super speedway. Beverly Creek going to try to make it five wide. Dan Park not able to get to the inside of Arnsdorf, thankfully, because that could have potentially been a big, big pileup. Arnsdorf stretches ahead. They are four wide coming out of turn number two there as Ben crashed to the inside of Charlie Davenport. He'll slip back a little bit in that Hershey's car. To the inside of Kanan Biller, Davenport Slips to the outside there in the Mopar colors. And out of turn four, they come again through the trioval. Andrew Miller still leads this thing. Joey Hightower second. Andrew Williams in third. And it's side by side for fourth. As Williams pops way up to the outside. No help up there. And Arnsdorf is going to benefit from that down to the inside with a big push from Mitchell Collins in the 59, the Richmond winner, just a few weeks ago. Two hundred eight point eight three nine miles per hour, the average race speed now for Andrew Miller, who's leading this thing in car 35, has not won in the Cabela's Cup Series since his career began this season. He has, had, if anything, he's had an atrocious season. Andrew Miller comes into this race 40th in points. That's last of the full-timers. And so he would love to make a statement here at Armory Digital. Velocistar has a terrific super speedway program here in the CCS. As you see, Ethan Lewis up here as well. Benny Watson, of course, has won the Daytona 500 earlier this season. He's not having a particularly good start to the race. There he is almost to the back entirely. But he is starting to work his way up down on the inside line there as they round the trioval again, coming to lap number eight as the aid of Joey Hightower stretches ahead into second by Andrew Williams and Darian Arnsdorf in the 14 there in third now as he gets by the 27. Closing in again on the 35, trying to mount a charge, but Arnsdorf and Beverly Creed going to go to the inside there. Creed in the 32 with no help on the inside. Finally, it looks like she's going to get some help there from Roy Rebelton in the 81, potentially. As they round turn three and four once again here at Armory Digital Super Speedway. 
Andrew Miller still pacing the field, trying to block three lanes at once. Creed in second at the line. No, I, I apologize. Yeah, it was Creed. Just by a nose over Arnsdorf and Hightower, who were dead even. This is some gutsy racing we got going on here early on, folks. But we are not even close to being done here at Armored Digital Super Speedway. As Andrew Miller has led most of the laps so far, he is still leading here. He's held the lead ever since he got up there. And I believe it's been since lap since we started lap three, he's been up there. And he has just been untouched. He's dominated so far. As the rest of the pack is shuffling around behind him like a deck of cards. As you'll see it again here as Rosero goes to the inside of Beverly Creed for second. A big push coming from the 77 of Trey Smith. Trey Smith coming into this race, the points leader. By 35 over Darian Arnsdorf. He's got a humongous points lead. That's almost an entire race worth of points. An entire race worth of points would be 48. And he's 35 ahead. So a humongous points lead coming into this race. As Rosero takes the lead away from the 35 of Miller at the line. And that's going to leave the 35 of the outside line. And he is going to be shuffled all the way to the back now. Ben Young in the Spotify colors. Take a look to the inside there of that Blackout Motorsports Chevrolet. Darren Arnsdorf to the inside of him. Arnsdorf, a two time winner this season at the Spring Richmond race under the lights. And then backed it up with the Wawa Pennsylvania 400 at the Pocono Raceway. Race one of two in the double header that weekend. Now down through the trioval, he's trying to get some help from the 98 of Stephen Cologne in the ream colors there for NS Racing. Sebastian Kukulon, last week's winner at Gateway in the middle of this pack here. In between Cologne and Smith, Keegan Thompson getting really up close and personal there with Ben Gruch in the 78 as up ahead for the race lead. Here comes Arnstorf. He doesn't have any help though right now. He and Cologne got disconnected. And so Miller's going to have a run on the top side, but he has no help now. He got left out to dry, and so he's going to slip back. Rosero doesn't look like he has any help either, but Arnstorff's going to go up to the outside. Cologne is down to the inside now of that 14. Not going to stay there, though, and Arnstorff surely could take a dive down low. Will he? No, I don't think he will, and I don't think he's going to be able to in time. Cologne's still not there on the inside of the 14, though. But that, well, They're going to try to stretch away now the top three. Cologne can't get away from Ben Young, though, in the two. He's got a push up on top from Andrew Miller, and for the race lead, with a big leapfrog on the inside, here comes Arnstorf, and he takes it away. Easy as pie. From RJ Rosero in the 13. Neither one of them has any help right now. The help looks like it's going to come to the outside with Rosero. And Arnsdorf looks like he might get help from Will Parrish there in the zero. Never mind. Parrish goes to the inside. And he's got no help right now. Madison Toll's going to try to catch up with him. Keegan Thompson going to try to catch his teammate there right in the middle. As four and on the edge of five wide behind. The 20 lap T-Mobile 250 last night in the Scots National Series went caution free. Will we see another one here? We've been caution free so far in this one. And we are a lap away. Or two laps away from halfway. Here in the Western Digital 400 at this 32 lap race lap the end of lap 16 is halfway as Parrish goes to the inside for the race lead gonna bring Madison Tall with him an uncharter driver has not ever won in the Cabela's Cup series and with this being the last season at least for the foreseeable future 
with the unchartered cars. Could we see one here tonight? It's Madison Tull creeping in behind Will Paris. They're going to make a move down low, but it has no help for the time being. Into turn one, though. Getting a big push from Kip Silverpoint now, who dives down in front of Daisy Johnson. And Sophia Fragniti in behind her. Down the back straight away. It looks like the caution's out, and we had a big pileup back there. We had a huge pileup back there, and so... Caution comes out here at Armor Digital Super Speedway. We're going to race around to the line. And we're going to stack them up and we'll have to do a restart. As Madison Tull is going to come around and lead at lap starting lap 17. And yes, it was in turn one. Looks like we had a big pile up. Trey Smith, the points leader, is in it. Eric Monaco is in it. Owen Miles, Josiah Robinson, Nathan Smith, Ethan Lewis. Nathan Stapleton, Samet Osgin, maybe the points leader may have been back there when it started. And maybe a few others too. Doesn't look like it was a massive pile up, but it does look like it's going to take quite a few cars out of this one. But uh, we will get restarted here in just a second at Armory Digital. Meantime, let's go and take a look at what happened to bring it out here in the Western Digital 400 at the Armory Digital Super Speedway. So as they came out of the trial over here, it looks like Stover gets turned by Owen Miles there, up into Trey Smith, down into Nathan Smith, turns the 84 around Josiah Robinson and Ryan Durrani make contact up into the outside wall, goes the 77-84, Robinson hooks up into Lewis there, and a hard hit there from Eric Monaco to Trey Smith, the 51 and 52 goes spinning around here, and goodness gracious, we had a humongous pile up here. In turn one at Armory Digital. That's the big one, folks. Was hoping we wouldn't see it, but unlike last night, which was a caution free race, we have seen it, and it is in a big way as the points leader has fallen out of this one here in Seattle. So, watching again as they come out of the trial, well, Stover gets turned by Miles, and the two Smiths go around there, up into the wall they go, and a huge hit there. From Monaco to Smith, pitching the 77 up into the air. And seven cars at least were involved in this one. But it, yeah, this is not a big one in terms of like number of cars. But this is definitely a big one. Considering the fact that the top driver in the championship is now going to be out of this one. And might even lose the points lead as a result. But uh, anyway, the track is clear. We are good to go. So let's head to the restart here at Armory Digital. Back here live at the Armory Digital Super Speedway here at the Western Digital 400. And we are finishing up the first caution of the race for a pileup in turn one involving several cars. Trey Smith and Eric Monaco at the very least are going to be out of this but up ahead, it's Madison Tall, Kip Silverpoint, RJ Rosero, Daisy Johnson, and Will Parrish. The top five, followed by Stephen Cologne, Sophia Fragniti, Darren Arnstorff, Christopher Reynolds, and Roy Rebelton. Green flag is going to come back out. Let's crank it up here at Armory Digital.
Oh, slow car in front of them all. It's pressed over the 48. Is everybody going to get by? Safe? Oh, they're making it through very well so far, but it's going to hold up Kukulon and maybe the rest of them. But I am amazed at how much of the pack was able to get through that. And it looks like they may have to worry about Dan Park in the 22 as well. We'll see where Dan Park is right now. Park is in turn... I believe that's turn that's turn four, and so they're coming down the back straight away right now. It looks like everyone else has gotten around the 48 of Brad Stover is Andrew Miller, and all this has gone back to the race lead here at Armored Digital, and he has had the strongest car all night here in the Western Digital 400. He is definitely the favorite to win this thing, but lap traffic definitely going to come into play here in the closing laps as we now have 10 laps to go here in the Western Digital 400. Dan Park traveling about 185 miles per hour. He's not even in fourth gear. He is in third gear going around this track. Well, these guys and gals are doing 211 miles per hour. Certainly looks like they are going to catch him sooner rather than later. But Beverly Creed settling into the second position there in car number 32, just ahead of Sophia Fragniti. They are trying to draft up to the 35 of Andrew Miller. We will see if they are able to do that. Fragniti goes to the inside of the 32 of Creed for a second, but doesn't look like they are going to get to the lead that Miller has right now. He's going to hold on to it at least for the time being. Down the back straightaway though, once again. Fragniti trying to block three lanes at once as Miller has stretched away from everybody. Arnsdorf down to the inside. He's got an opportunity to take the points lead back away from Trey Smith here. Trey Smith falling out of this race. What a turn of events it would be if that 35 point lead just evaporated like that. Arnsdorf is in position to take it away right now. With eight laps to go. Of course, he wants to do more than that. He wants to win this thing. But they are closing in rapidly on Dan Park in the 22. You see him entering turn three as the pack's getting ready to enter turn three. As they've joined up once again, everybody that got held up before looks like they've joined back up with the rest of the group. So this is going to be really, really dangerous right here. And Miller Arnsdorf going to get by. They're scattering all around trying to get around the 22 of Dan Park. Hey, they did a pretty good job until then, right there with Benny Watson. But uh, that's going to hold up Daisy Johnson, Mitchell Collins, Kanan Biller, Keegan Thompson, and maybe a few others here. More than maybe. But, again, they've made it past the lap traffic rather safely. But it's a three stretch away up front. Miller, Arnsdorf, and Chase Buck are single file right now. Meanwhile, the rest of everybody there is side by side in the pack. Coming around for six laps to go. Buck to the inside of Arnsdorf for the second place. Nathan Smith, Josiah Robinson, and Owen Miles off the pace, but not as slow as Park and Stover are. Speaking of Stover, let's check on where the 48 is right now. He's just in front of these guys right here. So we'll see who the pack catches first. Being that there's less cars up here, this may be good for them because it allows for more wiggle room, more space to be made in navigating around these moving chicanes going around this racetrack. But five... Laps to go, Andrew Miller, the dominant driver of the night, trying to bring it home one way or another. Down the back stretch 
in the dim night. Caution is out. Again, here at Armory Digital, Titan Nicholas of the 17 is spun out. Looks like Ryan Durrani was involved in the 34 as well. And that changes everything. Hit the big reset button, folks. We are not done yet. There will be a late race restart here at Armory Digital. What a turn of events here. And Andrew Miller's certain victory might have just evaporated. We'll see if we need to use green-white checkered laps here. Or we'll be able to end this race in regulation. We only have two lap cautions here at the super speedways. But it is another incident that will stack the field up here at Armory Digital Super Speedway. After the pile up we had at halfway. Looks like it's happened in turn. It might, that, might, that one may have actually been in turn three. Turn three and four. Don't exactly know where on the track that was. I do believe actually it was turn one and two again, but wherever it was, we're going to take a look at the replay now to see what happened here to bring out caution number two and set up what is going to be a frantic late race restart here in the Western Digital 400 at Armory Digital Super Speedway. Okay, so this one's about 21st place here. Durrani washes up into Nicholas, looks like, and into the wall, those two go very, very hard. And they're going to slide down the track. They're not going to get hit by anyone. It's only a two-car incident here. That's brought out this late second caution of the race here at Armory Digital. But goodness gracious. This is really going to be bad for Andrew Miller. It looked like he was for certain going to see a victory here under the lights at Armory Digital. That may not be the case now as Durrani and Nicholas have brought out this late yellow flag. Watch it again as they cross the start-finish line into turn one. And there they get hooked together hard up into the outside wall. Pick the 34 all the way up in the air. But uh, somehow Durrani's going to continue and Titan Nicholas high centered on the apron there. Did not make it back around. But, well, we'll see what happens here. The field is in the hands of Andrew Miller at the restart of this race. He will lead the field to the green flag. We'll have two laps remaining at the restart of this one, folks. The track is clear. We're good to go. So let's head to the restart here at Armory Digital. Back here with your live picture here at the Armory Digital Super Speedway. Working caution number two here for an incident between Titan Nicholas, Ryan Durrani, and maybe a few others. It looks like Titan Nicholas may be out of this thing. He is still on the pit road. Ryan Durrani got the thing back going. We'll see where he is on the track. There he is. The beaten and battered Cartoon Network number 34, 32nd on track back there with some other cars who had been damaged in the pile up on lap 16 as Titan Nicholas still on the pit road but we're coming to the restart this time Andrew Miller has led the most laps tonight and he looked to be set for certain victory until now and now we have no idea who's gonna win this thing Will Andrew Miller be able to hang on? Will somebody get around him? We'll have to see what happens. Pace car comes down onto the pit road. We are more than ready to get this one finished up here. This is not going to be a green-white checker. These are the last two official laps as we'll come through the trial and wait for that green flag to fly. Two laps to go in the Western Digital 400. We are green flag racing once again. Miller with a good leap there in the 35. Rosero hung back. Tried to get a push from the 98 of Cologne. Cologne washes up to the top side. Ben Young down to the inside in the Spotify 2. Through turns 1 and 2. And down the back straightaway. Rosero trying to draft up to the 35. Trying to do it all by himself. 
snaking and slithering down the back straightaway, headed off into turn number three. Miller blocks the 13. Rosero can't get a run just yet. We're coming to the white flag this time. One more time around the Western Digital 400. It's Rosero trying to get around Andrew Miller, the 35, the dominant car of the race. Who's going to win it here in Seattle? Miller trying to play the defensive game. Here comes Rosero to the inside in the 13. This looks like a repeat of last night's finish. Are we going to see another side-by-side -side duel? Down the back straightaway. Can the pack get to them? Miller trying to get the run on the top side. Headed off into turn number three. Rosero on the inside. Where's that push going to go? Arnstar over the inside. He's going to take up three wide. What a move down to the inside by the Procore Chevy. And he's going to get by both of them. Through the trial of Darren Arnstorf. Third win of the season. He's going to steal it away in the Western Digital 4. Or did he? Or did he at the line? Yes, he did. Just by a nose over Andrew Miller. Oh, my. That was one of the closest finishes we have seen. Miller almost came back and nudged him out at the line. But Arnsdorf has indeed picked up his third win of the season. And what a statement to make to kick off the 10 race charge to the championship. He not only is going to take the points lead here coming out of the Western Digital 400, but he's going to do it like that. Oh my goodness gracious. Cannot blame Andrew Miller, though, for being disappointed. Certainly he is going to be. To have done as good as he did tonight, to have it end like that. Story of his season, but still, what an incredible run by the driver of that 35. But let's take a look at your race finishing results here. Nine one thousandths of a second. The margin at the line, Arnsdorf over Andrew Miller. What a finish here in the Western Digital 400. 85 one thousandths of a second over RJ Rosero. 89 one thousandths over Beverly Creed, who finishes fourth. Then Ben Groch rounds out the top five. Ben Young rounds it out with a sixth place finish there. Madison Tull, the highest of the uncharted drivers there in seventh. Sebastian Kugelon follows up his first career victory at Gateway with an eighth place finish here at Armory Digital. Stephen Colon in ninth. And Sophia Fragniti rounds out the top ten here at the Armory Digital Super Speedway. We'll take a look at the rest of your standings here all the way back to 42nd. Only two cars unable to finish this race. Trey Smith, who came in as the points leader, will not leave as the points leader. He was out with damage, severe damage, after the lap 16 pileup, as was Eric Monaco. Dan Park, Titan Nicholas, and Brad Stover unable to finish on the lead lap. Park one lap down, Nicholas two laps down, and Stover three laps down. We finished with a total of 37 cars on the lead lap. And what a goodness gracious. I cannot, I cannot get past what, what we just saw. That was literally a repeat of, of last night in the Scots National Series. It looked like Bouchard was going to have it stolen away on the outside at the line. But then he held on and I thought Arnsdorf just had it stolen away from him right at the last possible second. But that's not what happened. He held on just by maybe a splitter length on that pro course Chevrolet. And he goes to victory lane for the third time this season. He ties Benny Watson in that regard. And he is going to be partying hard tonight with his all-star speed team. That's going to wrap us up here at Armory Digital. Congratulations again to Darian for that third win on the season in dramatic fashion over Andrew Miller. We'll take a look at your driver standings, your owner standings, the margin of victory, and we'll wrap it up here at Armory Digital. Y'all take care, stay safe, and have a good one.
Welcome to the NOF SRM.